Well, what do you know? I thought I was going to have me a nice day off and go crawfish hunting or something. And I come home to this here note from Jared. I guess he wants me to take care of something. This is what the note reads here. He says, hey, Skeet, I'm out getting a bunch of sleeves cut off of my shirts. I just bought 30 of them at the mall. And I need you to do something for me. I need you to cover for me on the rig rundown roast episode. So can you go ahead and roast everyone's rigs for me? All the videos have been provided. Just watch them and just roast them and have a little fun. Well, I guess that sounds like fun, right? I could just sit there and watch your guys' videos and pick on you a little bit. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I could do that. Let's get started. All right now, well, this first rig rundown is from a feller named Dean Harkness. Let's take a look and see at what he's got to show us. Now, hold on here. Did you guys see what I saw? That there is a big old piece of bread on top of his amplifier. That there is one hell of a brilliant idea. So what he's doing is he's playing some riffs and his amplifier is getting so hot it's toasting that bread. That there is one hell of a brilliant idea. In fact, that's making me pretty damn hungry right now. And I got me a big old baguette upstairs right now. And I got a hankering for some toasted bread. So I'm going to go get that thing right now and give it a try. You just hang on a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, as you can see, I got one of Jared's guitars here. It's probably one of his favorites. And I got that there loaf of bread sitting up on that Badlander amplifier right now. And it's cooking nice. It's getting all warmed up for me. I'm going to play me some of them Jimmy Hetfield riffs on this here guitar. We're going to see if we can toast that bread right now. Alright, now the riffs are all done. Now let's just see if the bread is nice and toasty after all that riffage. Ooh, it's nice and toasty. Let's see how it tastes. Delicious. What a great idea. All right, back to Dean's video. I know that sucked, but I don't care. I'm tired of recording this. I'm Dean. Okay, the rig. Well, Dean, born in Memphis, 43, old, whatever. All right, uh, Gibson, Les Paul Studio. Don't like the pickups, but I like the guitar. Eh, bread pillow. Wait a minute. That thing on your amp isn't a real piece of bread. It's a pillow? Well... I'll be darned. That just looks so real. I figured I'd give it a try. You got me. <laughs> HX effects. Line 6 relay. You know what that thing is. 5150 still. Awesome. Marshall 412 with V30s. Uh... LTD Iron Cross. This is actually my favorite guitar and actually my least expensive besides the acoustic back there. This is a DBZ Bird of Prey. It's a USA Custom. Uh, they're not around anymore. They changed to Diamond. Anyway, it was built by Dean Zelensky, so it's pretty cool. 
even though it looks like a dime guitar and it's not my style. Uh, here's the jam room. In the works, still. Gotta keep the kids out of here from painting on the walls and get some stuff put up. Anyway, cool. Can't wait to see everybody else's stuff. Later. Well, Dean, I gotta tell you, you got yourself a really nice room there. That's, that's just beautiful. I like the LED lights in the ceiling. All that highfalutin stuff you got going on there, that is damn pretty. And that's a big room. You can have all kinds of people up there and have a good time. Crack open some beers and play some amps and hang out. That's a nice jam room there. I'll tell you what, I'd love to hang out there. And that's some nice gear you got there. Some really unique guitars. And I like them a lot. Really cool. And you can't go wrong with the EVH Stealth. The 50 or the 100 watt. They're both just freaking awesome. Great job, Dean. And thank you so much for showing us your rig and your awesome jam space. On to the next video. Hey, Jared, Terry, and everyone. Yeah, it's Tony Krawczyk here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And I thought uh, it'd be fun to... Uh, yeah, share our uh, rig rundown and what we've got, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get started real quick. Uh, t on top, you'll see uh, the JP2C uh, Mesa head, uh, the Mark V in the middle, uh, Randall uh, Solid State amp, that one. Uh, that's the RG100ES that Dimebag Daryl would have used in uh, for practice in a recording studio. Uh, my EVH50 Stealth, and, uh, of course, my... Uh, my Oracle amp uh, is the very stupid rare Buddha Alex Golnick uh, preceptor amp. Uh, it's a three channel, half tube, half solid state. It's got uh, uh, like a pan knob on the back. You can tune in more or less solid state in, into the mix of the tube, uh, tube tone, right? So uh, here we have my Meza. It's hard to see behind the mic, but uh, that's my 2x12 uh, vertical. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, of course, ran the V30s in it, but uh, I thought I'd try some other speakers for a change. I am actually running for the last six months or so uh, the Hesu Demon on top and a DV77 on the bottom. Uh, the bottom speaker is mic'd uh, SM57, and I'm actually normally run a SM58 on top. Uh, that blends well with the, the Hesu Demon speaker. But uh, I'm trying out a Golden Age Project R2, which is a lot more bottom end uh, frequencies, which kind of, uh, which kind of uh, you know, give the EVH50 a bit more bottom end uh, as compared to, say, 100 watt, right? Uh, yeah, there's my, uh, my Line 6 Helix, uh, our notorious favorite pedals, uh, the Mud Killer. And my, no joke, uh, my go-to backup pedal for boost is my KSR Aeros. I do find it very, very decent as well. Uh, flashback, uh, Dreamscape, and of course the uh, the massive uh, Buddha foot switch pedal that uh, that amp actually also has boost, uh, you know, boost built into the amp too, right? So, um, so yeah, um, panning over here a little bit. Uh, there's my Zilla cab 2x12. Yes, it looks a lot like Jared's, and uh, except his is, I believe, wine color. Mine's more the red uh, gator uh, version. And I also have a V30 on the left side that's mic'd with uh, uh, Audix i5, very similar to the SM57, and a DV77 on the right. So I run both these cabs simultaneously through whatever amp I'm playing. Uh, real quick here, uh, that one's uh, my Schechter 6-string uh, with the X2N pickup in it, in the bridge side. Uh, that thing just slays in drop D. It's basically set for drop D most of the time. Uh, this is my most latest, greatest uh, LTD uh, SH7, uh, Brian Welsh guitar. Uh, it's purple. Uh, it's got the Fishman Fluence modern pickups in it. Yes, Jared, I know you don't like them, but uh, I actually got it to sound pretty decent. So uh, she's a keeper, I think, for me anyway. Uh, real quick over here. Uh, this is probably my oldest guitar that I've owned for years. Uh, this is the PRS SE Torero 6-string Floyd Rose EMG 8185 pickups. Uh, tuned to drop D. 
Uh, my Epiphone uh, Zach Wild uh, Bullseye uh, upgraded. Uh, I did that here about less than a year ago. Uh, with uh, DiMarzio Sonic Ecstasy pickups, and those are the Petrucci uh, signature covers, right? That is uh, tuned to uh, standard E all the time, which I prefer for this particular guitar, and it's pretty much my go-to most of the time. Uh, this is my ESP LTD BK600. It's actually a Bill Kelleher signature guitar. I prefer a lot of signature guitars, so... Uh, this thing's tuned to drop C, and it's running lay sensor pickups. Uh, this thing is my heaviest guitar. It weighs 9 pounds, but the sustain is just, it just goes on for days. Uh, this one is, uh, of course, the well-known uh, uh, John Petrucci Majesty Monarchy All Factory. It stays in the case most of the time, so it's my gem, of course, too. Uh, the only time it comes out is when I play it. Otherwise, I... Keep it closed, keep the dust off. And up here really quick is my number seven guitar. It's my Jackson uh, HT6. And I've actually put Seymour Duncan uh, Black Winter pickups in it. And it's been upgraded with the Hipshot Bridge uh, knobs and pots in there, right? So, uh, yeah, and that thing is always uh, staying in drop C as well. So yeah, I've got a couple of guitars in drop C. Uh, drop D and then standard and then of course the seven string is uh, stays for now anyway with the uh, Evertune bridge it stays in uh, B tuning right okay so um, I think I've got most of the stuff covered uh, my monitors are generally uh, run of course through the uh, the helix but I can run it through my 1978 uh, vintage Sansui system mixer and through external amps and i can actually run my guitar through my tower speakers here they're dual 12 inch uh, drivers yes it can get loud but uh if i don't want to run the cabs uh, i can run them through my house speakers and i've got one there another one in the corner and then uh, a couple backup ones there all right so uh yeah that's tony's gear all right have a nice day guys enjoy well, man, I gotta tell you something. I was freaking out for a minute there. I thought, man, you got a lot of similar stuff Jared has. And I'm like, man, you didn't take his stuff, did you? And I thought, well, we got this guard cat here. He's our attack cat. He guards all our gear and nothing gets by this little feller. I'll tell you what. So I was thinking, well, you seem like a nice guy. And he's just one hell of a attack cat. And he's guarded our gear for years. So I didn't think anybody would get through him. Then I looked around and I realized all his stuff's still here. So it looks like you guys just got similar taste and gear and bought a lot of the same stuff. Well, that's awesome. It looks like Kitty Witty's hankering to get out of here. Hey, right, you just go run along now, Kitty Witty. Yeah, he's a nice little feller, but he gets a little, little ornery sometimes. <laughs> Anywho, well, I'll tell you what, man. You got some really nice gear. I love that guitar collection. That's really cool. And that Buddha amp, that's something else. I never even heard of that. That's really cool. So it's 50% solid state, 50% tube. That is really nice. I really like that. Don't worry, he's declawed. There's no way he's scratching up that there uh, cabinet because Jared would have a fit if he did. Anyway, again, I really like that uh, amplifier, and I'd like to try that out sometime. I think that'd be pretty nice, you know. I've never even heard of that. And all your other gear is just amazing. I really think that all your speakers and your speaker cabinets and stuff, I think that is really interesting how you got all that stuff wired up and you got all these different speakers in the room and everything else. Well, thank you so much for showing us all your gear. And on to the next one. All right, now this last one for this particular episode is from Chris Sobic. Let's check it out. Time for my rig rundown. Here is my amps. I have my Chiriotone Tone King Kong 50 JVM 210. Of course, the iconic PRS Archon 100. And my, my main my main gigging rig, my little Black Star V3, take that everywhere, gig it big time. And my workbench, 
that's where I do all my work and here's my recording stuff no big deal oops sorry hey man no need to apologize for that that there is what I call inspiration that's right every once in a while you just gotta have a shot of inspiration and get back to jamming and you can come up with some kick-ass riffs yeah <laughs> and here's my 2006 Gibson Explorer 2013 Les Paul Traditional Lucky 13 my newest uh, gear acquisition is my comparison Horus it's a freaking beautiful guitar my knuckle bones replica that's about 25 years old I got it from a guy in uh, from Philadelphia of course my two legacy cabs the EVH EL34100 beast quick glimpse of my pedal board here of course my rack of Ibanezes they're all 9899s except for the 565 here that's new brand new these are all I've been as 570s and one uh, this is a 550 and then my Strat my ESP Viper and this is a parts Kramer but it has all the good stuff and that's about it I'll give you one more quick pass by this phone camera sucks oops again my recording gear this is a great uh, interface Steinberg with a Rupert Neve interf uh, Rupert Neve circuitry it's a little dusty bows and again my my other amps that's it I ain't gonna I'm not firing anything up the jam this time so maybe next time all right good night and goodbye well Chris thanks for sharing all that with us I really liked all your gear very much especially your inspirational gear <laughs> yeah that's some good stuff there man now I know that you've steered Jared towards a few of your pedals and he really likes those a lot. That mud killer is absolutely phenomenal. So he's learned a lot from you and uh, he really appreciates that very much. And I think my favorite amp in your collection has to be the EVH EL34. That amplifier is so badass. Oh my god, that thing is just killer. Jared's got one right here, and he absolutely loves that amplifier. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at everybody else's rig rundowns. That was a lot of fun for me, and there's a lot of great gear in these here rig rundowns. I really enjoyed that, and I learned a lot. And if you want your rig rundown to be featured on Tone Wars, there's an email link below in the description. And all you gotta do is just upload your rig rundown to YouTube and email us the link. And we'll go ahead and watch it, do a little roasting, and also do some commentary on it. I think it's great when the community can all get together and see the kind of gear that each other has. You know, it's like peeking in each other's windows without getting caught. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of nice. Now all we ask is that you just keep it to a couple minutes if you can. I understand if you got to go a little over that because sometimes you just got a lot of stuff to talk about and show us. So I totally get that. Well, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it very much. And to all our subscribers and Patreon supporters, we really appreciate you very much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. 
And if you haven't subscribed, please do and click that bell. And it ain't the dinner bell, it's the bell that reminds you when we either come out with a new episode or we go live. So we don't want you to miss anything. Alright, well, Jared's got a lot of good stuff coming up in the future here. So please stay tuned for all that and we will see you on the next one.